Good day and welcome to a truly special edition of the Offside Musings podcast. My name is OK Ndibe. I'm delighted to welcome you on behalf of my co-host Emeka Onyagwa. A lot of you have been writing and uh, sending messages wondering if we folded a podcast. No, um, it just happened that I was away in Nigeria uh, for a month-long visit uh, to that natal country of ours. And uh, indeed, my co-host happened to uh, also be in Nigeria, but for a much shorter uh, visit. And so over the next several weeks, we are going to be looking at issues that were generated uh, by our respective experiences uh, during that trip in Nigeria. But today, I felt that we should look at um, something that is not altogether uh, new in Nigeria's experience, but something that struck me with particular um, force uh, during my trip in Nigeria, and that is the senseless, gruesome murder of a young woman, Deborah Yakubu, by Islamic, uh, rabid Islamic fundamentalists in Sokoto, who are accused her of blaspheming uh, their religion. Apparently, Deborah Yakubu had on a WhatsApp list serve proposed that uh, people should not be posting messages of a religious nature. It wasn't an altogether um, insensible position to take. And at any rate, the proper response, even if people considered her post to be wrong, the proper response would have been in conversation uh, to make the case for why it was important to continue to post uh, religious material on the listserv, instead of which her classmates, her schoolmates demanded that she retract her statement. And then they followed up by, as it were, pronouncing a fatwa on this woman. Subsequently, they cornered her, a bunch of them beat her to a pulp, left her dead, and then set her body on fire. It was an event that happened. Um, I think I had three more days to stay in Nigeria. And once I found out, it spoiled the three days that I spent in that country. It was a very chastening, a very depressing reckoning uh, a reminder that the space in Nigeria is still very much steeped in backwardness, in savagery, in so many quarters. And so today we're going to look at the fallout from that dastardly event in Sokoto, how that has tainted uh, the name of this historic town, Sokoto, how that has indeed called to question the sense of humanity and of logic and reasoning of some people who presume themselves to be students and defenders of religion and how Nigeria's name has been dragged internationally globally through the mud. We're going to look in today's episode at what does it mean when humans who are essentially weak and fragile take it upon themselves to commit homicide in the name of God that they proclaim to be almighty. So I welcome you to today's uh, okay, uh, discussion to today's podcast is not a happy one, as you can see from my tortured demeanor. Um, but these are difficult conversations that we must have 
and that we need to have if we're going to achieve any sense of humanity in the country called Nigeria. Welcome.